Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Michelle. Um, welcome to Yoga with Michelle. This is uh, about a half hour power flow. So we're going to be moving, but it is all levels. So you can modify, take this on however it works for you, including different variations. So grab whatever you need, a mat, block, towel, water, whatever props you like to have, and take child's pose. So bring your big toes together and your knees out wide. We'll take a few breaths here to just get settled. Start your ujjayi breath or whatever really intentional, powerful breath you can create and then maintain throughout this practice. Take big breaths in, fill up completely, and then empty. Press the air out. Spread your fingers out wide. One more, inhale through your nose. Exhale to downward facing dog. So lift your hips, maybe pedal out your feet, bring some movement to this first down dog. Press down and forward in your hands. Look right at the back of your mat. And at one spot, your drishti. Turn off distractions, commit to this time right, as a gift to yourself, as a priority for your well-being. Come up high on your toes, then sink your heels back down. Draw your shoulder blades together on your back. Again, come up high on your toes, keep your hips high, tiptoe to the top of your mat your feet to your hands, ragdoll. So bring your feet out nice and wide. Press down in the center of your heels and the ball mounds of your big toes. Let your upper body hang heavy. Put your attention on your physical body. Fire up the muscles of your legs. Release your hands, roll up to standing, reach up, extended mountain pose. We'll take a moment here to build true north or full body integration from our feet, right? Our foundation to our core, all the way up to our fingertips. So press down in your feet and create an inward rotation in your legs. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Spread your fingers out wide. Spiral your pinkies in towards each other. Then look up, get really tall. Take a breath in. Forward fold, exhale the air out. Halfway lift, create a long flat back. So bring your shoulder blades up. Pull your belly button towards your spine. Rest you right at the top of your mat. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge at your hips. Extended mountain pose. Reach up, look up, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen, high plank. Plant your hands, step or hop your feet back. Remember you can modify. You can always drop your knees down to the mat or lift a leg or add a push-up. Grip the mat with your fingertips. Spiral your ribs in towards each other and don't let your head hang down. On your inhale, shift forward, get light in your toes. Exhale, low plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Press the tops of your feet down. Draw your shoulder blades straight back. So lengthen your neck. Then from here, squeeze your thighs together from your core, lift up, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, empty all the air out. Come up high on your toes, look forward, step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in, 
forward fold, exhale. Extended mountain pose, pull the pit of your belly in and up, forward fold. Halfway lift, high to low plank. Stack your elbows right over your wrists. Upward facing dog, lengthen. Downward facing dog. Look right at the back of your mat. Press down in your hands. Fire up your core. Inhale, come up high on your toes. Exhale, feet to hands. Half lift. Forward fold. Chair pose. Utkatasana. You can bring your big toes together to touch with your heels slightly apart. Or bring your feet out a little bit wider. But keep them at 12 o'clock. And create a neutral pelvis. So not overly tucked. Right? Or overly kind of like sticking out. But tilt your tailbone down slightly so the front of your pelvis comes up. So you've got length and space in your low back. Peek down at your toes. If you can't see your toes, scoot your knees back. Sink down like two more inches. Start to build the heat. Ujjayi breath. Press down in your heels. Breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. Up dog, look forward, downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, right side. So lift your right heel straight up, flex your foot. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. Shift forward, squeeze, three-legged dog. Opposite elbow, so right knee to left elbow. Flex your foot, straight back up. Warrior one. Bring your foot forward. Let your back heel come down. Reach your hands up. So your biceps are right by your ears. Work towards a 90 degree angle in your front knee. Press down in the outside edge of your back foot. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale. Low plank, plant your hand, step your foot back. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, left side. Lift your left heel. Shift forward, knee to elbow, squeeze the side of your body. Three-legged dog. Shift forward, opposite elbow, straight back up. Warrior one, plant your foot, rise up. Set your gaze at one point. Press down in your foundation. Come bring your hands together overhead and or cactus out your arms, lift your chest, but sink your hips down. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, low plank. Upward facing dog. Bring your chest forward. Downward facing dog. Send your chest towards your thighs. All right, we'll take that one more time. On your inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, look forward. Step or float to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Forward fold, exhale. Chair pose. Sink down low, lift your chest, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen the crown of your head forward, chaturanga. Squeeze your elbows in as you lower down, upward facing dog, shoulders straight back, downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, right side, lift your heel, shift forward, knee to elbow, shift back. Shift forward, opposite elbow, shift back. Warrior one, take a long step forward, reach up and back, 
chaturanga. Plant your hands, maybe lift a leg, up dog, or modify if you need to, down dog, three-legged dog, left side, stay with it, shift forward, shift back, shift forward, twist, shift back. Warrior one, root down, rise up, chaturanga. Spread your fingers wide, upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Three-legged dog, right side, shift forward, bring your knee to your nose, come up high on your back toes, three-legged dog. Again, shift forward, knee to nose, lift your hips, straight back up. This time, step forward into a long lunge and pause right there, get grounded in your feet, bring your hands to your hips or to heart center. Hug skin to muscle to bone. And so squeeze your thighs towards each other. Stack your back heel right over your back toes. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, twist. Come back to center, reach up. Let your back heel come down, warrior two. Draw your shoulder blades together on your back. Look forward. Flip your front palm. Reverse your warrior. Lengthen the side of your body. Extended side angle. Bring your elbow down to your thigh or grab a block. Lift your left hand up and then reach it back behind you. Take a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Plant your hand, low plank, up dog, down dog. Three-legged dog, left side. Lift your left heel, shift forward, knee to nose, squeeze and lift, three-legged dog. Again, knee to nose, round your back, straight back up, step forward, Crescent lunge. Come up high on your back toes. Fire up your core. So pull in and lift up. Bring ease to your face. Strength where strength is needed. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open up, twist. Come back to center, reach up, let your back heel come down, warrior two. So fire up your left glute so your knee comes out right over your ankle. Stay low, flip your palm, reverse your warrior. Extended side angle. Look up at your fingertips or at one spot. Open up, take a breath in. Exhale, low plank. Plant your hands, up dog, shoulders straight back, downward facing dog. Come up high on your toes, look forward, Step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Extended mountain pose, reach up. Eagle, right side. Right leg over, right arm under. Pull everything into center line. Lift your elbows up in line with your shoulders. Take one more inhale, exhale airplane. So unravel, send your right foot straight back. Square your hips to the mat, 
So you might have to drop your right hip down just a tad. Bring your hands to heart center. Half moon. I like to grab a block. Flex your lifted foot. Okay, the more engaged you are, the more present you are, the more grounded you are, the more open you are to possibility. Lift up, release, forward fold. Shake it out. Come back up to standing, extended mountain pose. Eagle, left side, left leg over, left arm under. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Lift the crown of your head up. Full breaths in. Press the air out. Inhale. Airplane pose. Lengthen your spine. Pull your belly in. Bring your hands to heart center. Half moon. If you fall out, come right back in. No drama around it. No judgment or comparison, but just willingness. Willingness to keep going. Willingness to get vulnerable right? and to show up as the best version of yourself. With all the messiness included, lift up, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen, high to low plank. Shift forward, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Warrior one, right side. Step forward, reach your fingertips up, Warrior two, straighten your front leg, reach forward, triangle. So I like to grab a block, or you could use your shin, but press down in your feet, draw your heels towards each other. Create strength in your foundation, then open up, reach up, come to standing, side facing, wide leg forward fold. So bring your feet out wide. I like to clasp my hands behind my low back. Lift your chest, take a breath in, exhale, fold. Bring out your shoulders. Bring your hands down to the mat, walk them behind you. Work to bring the crown of your head down towards the mat. Lift your tailbone up. And walk your hands to your left foot. You can keep your legs straight or bend your knee. Walk your hands to your right foot. And plant your hands Pivot your feet, low plank. Stack your elbows right over your wrists, upward facing dog. Press the tops of your feet down, downward facing dog. Warrior one, left side. Warrior two, open up, straighten your front leg, reach forward, triangle. Lengthen the sides of your body. Spread your fingers wide. Then open your chest up towards the ceiling. Nice and slow, come up to standing. Take side facing, wide leg forward fold one more time, but take a different variation. If you wanna take a headstand, do that, tripod or traditional. Maybe grab your ankles and pull your upper body down.
On your next inhale, walk your hands forward to the top of your mat. Step back, high plank. Pause right there. Grip the mat with your fingertips. Bring your inner thighs straight up. Don't let your low back sag. We're here for 10, nine, breathe, eight, look right at the top of your mat, seven, six, press the mat away from you, five, four, three, two, one. We'll lower down all together, all the way to our bellies. Bend your knees, windshield wiper from side to side your low back a rest and straighten your legs locus so reach back towards your feet you can point or flex your feet up to you but be intentional lift your thighs lift your chest on your inhale rise exhale release take a breath in let it go Plant your hand right by your ribs. Press the tops of your feet down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Come up high on your toes. Tiptoe or hop all the way through your hands. Come down on your back, bridge. So press down in your feet. Lift your hips up. And shimmy your shoulders underneath you. Press down in your triceps to lift your chest up and back. Could stay right here or take wheel. Plant your hands right by your ears. Go up right to your highest expression of the pose. Maybe that's lifting a leg or coming up on your toes. Go for it. You're here for three. I've got you. I'm with you. Two, breathe. One, tuck your chin, come down. Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees out wide. Happy baby. Grab the outsides of your feet. Pull your feet down towards the mat. Draw your shoulder blades down, your whole spine, head all the way to your tailbone. Release your feet, send your heels straight up, flex your feet and spread your toes. Clasp your hands behind your head with your elbows out nice and wide. Lift your chin up off your chest. Press your low back down. Lift the center of your chest up towards the ceiling. Okay, so engage your core. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Put your attention right here. Inhale. Exhale, lower your right heel two inches off the mat. Inhale, lift it up. Keep going. Left heel down, lift. Right heel down, lift it up. Lower, lift, switch, switch. Press your low back down, switch, flex your feet, switch, switch. We're gonna add opposite elbow to opposite knee, but keep your legs as straight as you can. Twist, twist. Keep your attention on your core. Twist, breathe, twist. Remember elbow to knee, not knee to elbow. Twist, one more each side. Last one, hug your knees into your chest. Rock forward and back. Cross your ankles. Plant your hands. You can step or hop back to downward facing dog. 
three-legged dog, right side. Lift your right heel, bend your knee, stack your hips. Get a big side body stretch. And bring your right knee to your right wrist, half pigeon. Square your hips. If you need a block under one side, grab a block under your hip. Adjust your front shin. Bring it up towards the top of your mat. Walk forward, come down on your forearms. Bring your chest down towards the mat. Stay with your breath. Notice if thoughts start to come in, but let them go right by. So practice in staying present. To practice in showing up for yourself. Practice in responding rather than reacting right, to the easy, the good, the bad, the struggle. I'm gonna switch sides. So make your way back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. Lift your left heel up, bend your knee. Open your hips, lift your knee up nice and high. Half pigeon, left side. Same thing, be really intentional, setting up the pose. Reach your back foot straight back. If your forehead is touching the mat or a block, roll your forehead from side to side. Relax your face. Honor yourself here for the work you've put in, right, for the struggle, for exactly who you are in this moment and what you're up to. Turn your right leg around, seated forward fold. So face both feet forward, sit up nice and tall. On your inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, fold forward. You can use a strap or a towel around your feet or just bend your knees. And then if you need more length, you could add a block. Release your hands. Take reverse tabletop or reverse plank. You can keep your legs straight or bend your knees. But lift your hips up, let your head hang back. Slowly come down. Take an inversion, so headstand or handstand if you can do that with ease. Or take waterfall or shoulder stand. So waterfall, you'll just put a block under your low back and lift your heels straight up. Shoulder stand, stack your feet over your hips and your hips over your shoulders. Flex or point your feet. If you're in shoulder stand, take plow. Take your feet straight back. Deaf man's pose, bend your knees and slowly lower down. 
one vertebrae at a time. Make yourself as long as possible. Big full body stretch. Reach back behind you, point your toes, pull your belly in, take a big breath in. Exhale, hug your right knee into your chest. Supine twist. Send it over to the left. Switch sides. Let's come back to center. Hug your left knee in. Give it a squeeze. Then twist. Stack one hip right on top of the other. Release. Take any last stretches you need. Find a comfortable position on your back. Shavasana. Relax your whole body. Just be. Let your breath flow naturally. Allow your body to sink down into your mat, into the floor. With your eyes closed, gently roll to your right side. Give yourself a few more breaths here. Allow yourself a moment to transition from your practice into whatever else you have going on today. Keep your eyes closed. Come to a seated position. Sit up nice and tall. Bring your hands to heart center. Together, we'll take one more big full breath in. Open your mouth, let it out. 
Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this is one that you come back to again and again. Check out my other videos as well. Subscribe if you haven't already, and then comment so we can connect and I can see what you want more of. Again, thank you so much. See you next time.